Hello everyone, this is Vandana from Informatica Customer Reliability Engineering team. And in this video, we will learn about hosted self service tool. Next, we will see the agenda for this video. So let's move to the next slide. In the agenda, first of all, we will cover the prerequisites using self service tool. Next, we will check the requirements where we can use self service tool and which all environments it is applicable to. Later, we will see the steps to edit properties files, CMX server properties files, and CMX cleanse properties files in MDM. And in the end, we will see the steps to restart server using self service tool, which I will show in one demo. It will be a live demo to restart QA server using self service tool. Let's move on to the next slide. Prerequisites. First of all, we need S3 access and any end client installed to access S3. I have installed S3 browser and I will use S3 browser to log in into S3. Next, we need the admin credentials, which we will upload under this path in S3. And it will only recognize restart once it will find the admin credentials in that file. Let's move to the next slide. Next is when we can use this tool. This tool is only applicable for Informatica hosted customers. And customers can restart their single node environments where they do not have PuDI access using self service tool. Same is applicable for properties file change, CMX server properties and CMX cleanse properties files in MDM. I will cover these steps how to make the changes in properties files and restart one node environment using self service tool. So let's move on to the next slide. Steps to edit properties file. Properties files here we are referring to CMX server properties and CMX cleanse properties. So we can read and write these properties files in MDM application server for which we are performing the restart. After logging into S3, we will navigate to this path under operations MDM, MDM read write properties. And under this folder, uh, there will be two different folders current and customer. Under current folder, there will be a copy of these files present. If you want to use it for read purpose, you can download these files to your local. And if you want to make any changes, we can make, uh, let's say if you want to remove or add any property, we can make the changes and upload it back to the customer folder. So to make any changes, we need to always upload it to customer folder. Now to apply this change, we need to restart the application server. So in that case, uh, we will cover the MDM server restart steps in our next slide. So let's go to the next slide. All right, so next let's see these steps to restart server. And after this presentation, I will show you one live demo where I will cover the QA server restart using self service tool. To follow these steps, we will first of all log into S3 bucket and after logging into S3 bucket, we will redirect to the path under operations, MDM, MDM server restart and customer. Under this customer folder, we will upload one file named exec commands.txt. This exec commands.txt file will include some properties. You can copy these properties uh, for the first time from sample.txt file, which is under current folder. What all these properties will be? These will be your uh, username, password, action, app server name, whether it is MDM or IDQ. However, I will only cover MDM under this video. Encryption, uh, false or true, whether you want to use the encryption or not. After putting these properties in this file, exec command.txt, we will upload it to customer folder. Once we will upload this file to customer folder, it will start the restart process. 
so here under username you will use uh, the admin credentials only if you want to use encryption you will make it as true and to generate the encrypted password you will need to run this java class path command from dev query session let's say if you want to run it for qa server you will add the qa password here and run this java class path command from dev query session you will see the encrypted password in the output which you can copy it will be a long string you can copy that password and put it in the file save this file and upload it to customer folder once you will upload the file to customer folder it will start the restart process after a few minutes you will see the file is processing let's see the demo next I'm going to restart QA server using S3 browser and here I'm logged into QA S3 bucket and we will navigate to the path as we discussed earlier where we will have to upload the exec command.txt file which will have some parameter details so let's navigate to operations MDM MDM server restart and customer folder here we will have to upload that exec commands.txt file and if you are using this tool for the first time you can download a sample.txt file which will have the sample details like what we have to include in exec commands.txt file and we can upload it to here under customer folder let's navigate to mdm server restart so in current folder you will get this sample.txt file let's download this file let's save the file here with uh, same name or we can save it with exec commands which we have to upload later to customer folder let's open this file here we will see the username password action which server we are using and encryption so here we can use either encryption as false or true if we are using encryption as true we have to get the encrypted password as i discussed earlier in the steps uh, we can use the java class path command to generate the encrypted password so as in restart steps here we can see how we can use java class path command to generate the encrypted password let's change the name of this sample file to exec commands which we will upload to customer folder because the restart operation will only take place if it recognizes the name of the file as exec commands let's open this file i will edit the details here username will be admin i will use the encrypted password action will be restart app server will be mdm and encryption will be true if you don't want to use encryption you can use the regular password here and make it as false i have saved this file i will upload this file to s3 browser and once i will upload this file here i will refresh the tab and will see what is the progress going after i upload this file it might take maximum 5 minutes to start the activity so we'll check it in next 2 minutes so after 3 to 5 minutes we can see this processing.txt file is there it means the process is going on and we can download this readme.txt file to get the details like what all files we can check during this activity let's download it let's open this file so in this readme.txt file we have different steps all these steps which cover the restart so let's see what this processing.txt file refers to 
So it is the indication that the request is being carried out and we don't have to trigger any other operations when it is present. Similarly, for the other text files, if you see in the S3 browser during this activity, you can check the status like text.failed means the process was failed, text.processed means the activity completed successfully. Let's check the status on S3 browser. File is still processing. And finally here I can see the processed file. So it means the process was successfully completed. So we will check the logs as well. Let's go to logs under server restart and download these logs to local. Let's open this logs file. So here we can see uh, the server status uh, and this activity progress, how it went, when it was started and when it completed. Alright, so this is how the restart from self-service tool using S3 browser is completed and customers can use this tool to restart one node servers for which they don't have body access. After the restart, you can check all URLs and validate all services. We have reached to the end of this video and I hope you have a better idea how to restart one node service using self service tool. Informatica shares the detailed steps how to use self service tool in the handover documents. If you have any doubts, uh, please reach out to us. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for your time. Have a good day.